Hi, and welcome to a Thursday edition of Auto Week TV. In a minute, we'll join rally driver Reese Millen as he works on his golf game. It's pretty entertaining, so stick around. But first, let's see what's happening in the car world. BMW is adding some diesel muscle to its performance lineup. The German automaker will equip the 5 Series X5 and X6 version of the new M Performance line with a tri-turbo diesel 6-cylinder. The diesel engine cranks out 376 horsepower and 545 pound-feet of torque. But here's the bad news. The tri-turbo diesel won't come to the U.S. Making the engine meet emissions regulations here will be too expensive and presents big challenges in fitting all the required hardware. But we will get other M Performance cars. M Performance is BMW's move to offer the looks and fun to drive qualities of an M car without making the compromise in ride comfort. We'll see the diesel M Performance cars at the Geneva show in March. Ford is cranking up the EcoBoost. The automaker says it will offer its EcoBoost engine in 12 models this year, up from 7 last year, and is tripling production capacity for the engines. EcoBoost is the marketing label Ford gives its engines that combine turbocharging and direct fuel injection to bring more horsepower out of a smaller motor. Ford has four and six cylinder EcoBoost engines. The redesigned Fusion sedan and Escape SUV are new users of the EcoBoost four cylinder engine. Ford says it built nearly 128,000 examples last year. Jeep has rolled out a new trim package for the Grand Cherokee and is running a contest on the internet to give it a name. Jeep builds this Grand Cherokee as a concept but says it anticipates bringing it to the showrooms this spring. It started with the four-wheel drive Laredo X package, then added blacked out trim, a mesh grille, and 20-inch aluminum wheels painted in gloss black. There are no mechanical changes. Jeep is running a Name My Ride contest for the concept. The prize is a chance to win a 2012 Jeep Grand Cherokee. You can find contest details at jeep.com slash name my ride. Okay, it's time for a little golf. Reese Millen is a noted rally car driver and accomplished drifting participant. Recently, his sponsors, Hyundai and Red Bull, encouraged him to have a little fun on the golf course. So he did. Even if you didn't pay attention to the first part, watching the outtakes was just as entertaining. Now here's today's history note. In 1920, Henry Leland started the Lincoln Motor Company. He later sold it to Ford. And this was after he started the company that first built Cadillacs. Alright, that's our news for today. Don't forget the Rolex 24 Daytona runs this weekend and we have plenty of coverage online already at AutoWeek.com. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Until then, enjoy the drive. Thanks for watching today's edition of AutoWeek TV. Be sure to catch all the latest car enthusiast news on AutoWeek.com, in AutoWeek Magazine, and in AutoWeek's iPad edition.